Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out of all the requests for videos that I have ever gotten, this may be the highest requested video of all time. We have some ballistics gel out here. This stuff isn't perfectly clear. I think I've cooked it up about three or four times already. But we have the blue plastic ammo. This stuff is chambered in 7.62 by 51, which can be shot out of a 308. We've done several videos on this. If you haven't seen those, go back and watch them. These are a 10 grain, that's right, a 10 grain plastic bullet that shoots at over 4,000 feet per second. If you don't believe me, I've done these on a chronograph already. I'll put the link to the video here so you guys can watch it. But plastic bullets going to shoot them out of a 308 they're 10 grain bullets going 4,000 feet per second and we are going to get the slow-mo camera turned on and shoot it into this clear ballistics gel a 10 grain bullet going 4,000 feet per second i'm guessing it won't even go halfway through this block but i don't know maybe a surprise it might be going so fast it just zings on right through it but we're about to see what happens We've got a handful of these suckers we're gonna shoot them into this gel. Should be a whole lot of fun. Let's quit the yapping. I'm gonna go load up my Ruger American 308, shoot them into this clear ballistics gel. I got a fly landing on me. And we're gonna have a whole lot of fun. Thank you guys all for requesting this video. All right, so we got the gel block here. We got some pretty good natural light. We should be able to get some good footage of those blue 10 grain, 4,000 feet per second bullets getting put into this gel put down in the comments down below what do you think is going to happen is it going to go all the way through we're going to catch them halfway is it barely going to go in i'm going to guess it's going to go about halfway through this ballistics gel i was wanting to call it a block for some reason i guess it is a gel block but i've got three rounds loaded up in my 308 i'm super excited if you can't tell but we set up the cameras take the shots All right, so for whatever reason, this camera shut off so you didn't see me shoot that first round. Bugging my nose. But what you did see was that slow-mo footage we just put up. This actually bounced off the gel and came back and went flying past my head. I was standing at about 10 yards. So let's take another shot with this camera. Got the slow-mo rolling again. I'm gonna back up a little bit further and take another shot. Like I said, standing a little bit further away this time because that first one came back and almost hit me. So, let's shoot it again. That one looks like it actually stayed in the gel. So, let's shoot a third one and see what we can see. I'll try to hit a little bit different spot. At about 20 yards here. That one bounced off the gel too. Pretty wild. But I tell you what, just for giggles, let's see what happens on that gel. Let's shoot a 308 full metal jacket at it just to see what the difference is. Well, that knocked the gel down. So, you guys saw what happened there. I can't wait to go back and look at the footage and look at that slow-mo. The first shot with the blue stuff actually hit the gel and bounced off and went past me when I was shooting at 10 yards. The second shot, I think it was the second shot, actually went in the gel and it's right here. It only had about one inch. And let me see if I can dig that one out. I might have to get my knife. No, nope, there it is. And there's the second one. And the third one also bounced off and went past me. And then you also saw 
the full metal jacket one zinged right through it and flipped the block completely off but let me show you a little bit closer at this gel here so there's the up close side view you can see those blue shots only literally maybe an inch and a half into the gel and then here i had the first and second shot went into the same hole there and then the third this is one that bounced and came back so you can see it went in there about an inch and then bounced back definitely not what i expected to see out of this gel i literally thought 4,000 feet per second it's gonna go get stuck in that gel which one of them did which was this one that's the one that got stuck in the gel but then we had two that completely what's the word expanded and bounced off and came back at me which I totally was not expecting all the more reason to always remember your eye protection guys that, that could have what poked my eye out but thanks for watching the video guys again thanks for requesting that video you guys have been requesting that video non-stop now we know what happens when we shoot the plastic bullets into ballistics gel and i want to see what that full metal jacket one did on the slow-mo that probably looks pretty cool too but let me know what you guys want to see next what do you want to see us shoot into ballistics gel Big shout out and a big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. Everybody go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to check out all the links below and subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. We got some more blue ammo left. What do you want to see? Thanks for watching, guys. Hootie Hoo!